All right. Hello, hello, hello. Um, my name is Gus, and I teach band for a living, but I also compose some music. And today I'm going to talk about uh, using the explode and reduce and the arrange functions inside of Sibelius. Um, the idea for this video is um, I watch a guy on YouTube named JJ Berthume. He's great. He's been doing a series about composing a fantasy theme um, and I've been following that and I've got to watch him use the explode function um, and that made me realize that I use it differently than him and that my way is a little bit maybe faster I don't know there are benefits and drawbacks to both sides I guess that's what I'm trying to say uh, let's dive in you can see that I've opened up a super cool uh, score it's just basic it's a K5 setup um, beginning band. That's really what it is. And I've written an awesome It's so cool! <laughs> Whatever. Uh, I wrote that in about three minutes. It's great. Um, so let's talk about the explode function. What is it? It's where you take one source staff um, and with multiple parts in it and you highlight, you select an intended area, you copy or cut, I'm going to use cut, control X, and then you select uh, intended destination step. So that was, there were four parts to that thing. So let's say I want to give, uh, oh, there are four brass. Okay, great. I'm going to distribute it to the brass choir. I select all four brass, I go to the note input, and I click explode. Boom. Look, everybody's got all four parts. Um, or well, not all four parts. The four parts are distributed evenly from top to bottom based on top note, second note, third note, fourth note. Um, that's really all there is to my method. It's pretty fast, and it, your source, your destination staves don't have to be next to each other. Uh, I could use these four, and it'll work just as well. So this is really handy. Uh, when you when your destination staves are actually in order from top to bottom when they're not in order from top to bottom so let's say that I want my trumpet to have the top line but then I want to give the flute the second note and maybe the low brass the third note and alto saxophone the fourth note I can't do that unless I highlight my select material click the explode button and then I have to, through the settings, actually choose my destination staves that way, which is how JJ does it. Um, it's fine, it's very specific, and it's a little more labor intensive because you have to scroll through and select specifically where it's going. This is a little more down and dirty, a little, little bit faster. Uh, another drawback is that everybody gets every note. Um, good example of this, I'll do measure five. Notice that we start with one note, uh, just a single line, and then I've got two notes and then three notes. If I was, I'll cut it and I'll use two destination stabs. And you'll see that they both get as many notes as possible. So where there used to be these three guys just on their own, now it is both instruments have those notes. So rather than like a solo, um, it's 2T playing a unison line, which maybe that's what you want and maybe it's not, um, what that really means is that you just have to go back through and then clean up what you've pasted, which is kind of the purpose of this. It's not meant to be something that is perfect. It's meant to be something that saves you maybe 10 minutes of work, and then you go back in and revise for five minutes, so you've really gained five minutes. Um, cool. Uh, except in the case of multiple voices, though. So when I have multiple voices, you see I've got a, a part one, part two. If I cut that, and let's just use two destination staves here and I'll explode it. Part one goes to the top instrument, part two goes to the lower instrument. That's pretty cool. So if you've got like a, a hymn that you're arranging for a band and sometimes you've got multiple parts, that's a really easy way to, if you're composing in the moment and you know, hey, I'm gonna actually separate it this way to maybe quickly just jump into voice two and then jump back out of voice two to make it more specific. Okay, uh, practically speaking, uh, this technique works best when you are composing four parts or something like four parts. Uh, you go through, you write out your music, 
then you're going to copy it and select a representative for each part. So what I'm going to do, you see I've got a four part perfectly written, Bach is rolling in his grave. Um, I've got a four part thing. I'm going to highlight it, copy it, um, and then just empty that stave. Uh, no, I don't want to delete it. And I want my flute to represent all the soprano instruments, my clarinet to represent all altos, my low brass one to represent tenors, and my tuba to represent all uh, bass instruments. So that's just going to split my instruments, soprano, alto, tenor, bass. Then I use the explode function, and boom, I've got them split up. Now you can see that I've got plenty of notes out of range. I've got some weird jumping things, and like I've got to get rid of all the the extra stuff that I don't actually want to be doubled. Um, so maybe I just get rid of these guys. Cool. And then I have to go through and select you know, the stuff that I don't want to exist for each instrument. So like I said, it's not really um, intended as like a, a magical wizard thing where you just explode and everything's perfect exactly the way you wanted it to be. But it's a good tool to get you from point A to point C with only half as much work at point B, which is kind of nice. So I'm going to take my, my lower parts here and I'm going to drop them down to an octave. And I'm actually going to revise a little bit. Quarter note, quarter note, quarter note, quarter note. Okay, so now I've got different thing. Actually, let's make that a half note. And let's make these eighth notes. Oops. G, A, B, T, C. C -F -E. Okay, um, and then I can take these guys and let's say I want to recondense it. I'm going to highlight what I want to recondense. Let's go four bars. Boom, boom. I'm going to hit the copy or the cut. Uh, I'll just copy it in this case. Copy. And let's say I want to give it to a piano reduction. Go home. Add or remove a piano instrument. Cool. Click OK. Yeah, whatever. Sibelius. Thank you for changing the size of my score. Okay, great. Um, I'm going to go to node input and I'm going to hit reduce. And look, now it's giving me all four parts. If I take and cut that again, go over here and explode it, it'll divide it evenly between both hands and then I have like a, a right hand, left hand. So those are um, some really fast and probably not super conventional methods of using the explode, reduce, and arrange. Well, not really the arrange. Arrange is a souped up version of explode where you can select specifically, like I want to arrange this in mariachi style. That one might be fun um, if you're stuck for an idea about something. That can be cool. Um, like I said, these are not tools to get to a final product. They're just tools to get from the rough draft sketch to the good revision stage more quickly. Um, so that's that. I hope you enjoyed the video. And that's it.